Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the reading rush. So it's a bit later in the morning today. Um, it's like 10, almost 10.30 probably. Basically, I spent all of this morning getting my vlog uploaded, finishing up my thumbnail, like doing all of that stuff, had breakfast, and I just like didn't want to vlog. I wanted to take the time to just relax and like get all of that work done and then get a start on my vlog. So I did that and I'm happy. I also like did not sleep at all last night because I was editing the vlog until like 3.30 in the morning, which is not good. So I barely slept, so I'm really exhausted and I look very tired today and I just like don't have a lot of energy. But anyway, for today I wanted to just be a bit more relaxed, take things a bit easier. I'm not going to stress myself out so much with the vlogging and um, I think I'm just going to try and make it a bit shorter and also like maybe end it a bit sooner so that I can go to bed earlier. But for the day I have pretty much like no plans. I do at one point today have to go to the airport because um, we're dropping my grandmother off because she is going on a trip. So um, that's going to take up a little bit of my time and I won't be vlogging for probably like an hour or two. Besides that, I'm literally like just planning on sitting around and reading all day. Last night I actually did not end up reading any more of Wicked Fox because I was just editing and I was just like in that zone and I was trying to finish that up. Um, but I did listen to some more of it this morning while I was uploading and editing my thumbnail and stuff and I think I have about eight hours left so I listened to like at least another hour I think an hour and a half actually I really want to try and finish Wicked Fox today I'm listening to it on double speed now because I don't like this narrator at all it's just like the way that she chooses to make characters say certain things is very odd like it's an odd character choice and I don't think that's the way the character's intended to speak sometimes. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the narrator which is making getting through the audiobook a bit more difficult, but putting it on a faster speed takes some of that away. Um, I also read at a much faster speed anyway, so yeah, um, I've made more progress in it and I didn't talk too much about it yesterday and I'll talk a bit more about the book a little bit later today. I wasn't like loving it at the beginning, it was just like very confusing, but now I'm at a place where I am enjoying it more, so that's good. But before I do pretty much like anything else, um, I kind of wanted to do today's reading rush Instagram challenge. Let me find it on Instagram because I don't remember the exact wording. Okay yeah so the challenge is to take a photo of an outfit inspired by a book cover and when I saw that Instagram post I like instantly knew what I wanted to do and that I wanted to do it. A week ago, a couple weeks ago, um, I wore this dress and I posted about it on Instagram and also on Twitter. Let me find it. This dress. Liv from Stories for Coffee said that it looks like Evelyn Hugo on an Italian vacation. And so it made me think I can wear this dress and be inspired by Evelyn Hugo and like hold my copy of the book and take an Instagram picture. So that's what I'm gonna do. I feel like I should probably put on a full face of makeup because I mean Evelyn Hugo would put on a full face of makeup but I really don't want to. But at the very least I will put on probably some like red lipstick and try and be as much of a Hollywood star as I can. So yeah, um, I don't know where I'm gonna take it, but I'm gonna attempt to take this picture. And in the process of getting ready, I'm gonna continue listening to my audiobook, and it'll be super easy to listen to while I am getting ready to take my picture. So I'm gonna go do that now, and I will update you guys once I figure out where I'm gonna take it and how I'm gonna take it. Hello everyone, so I did a little bit of makeup. I mostly just did some eyeshadow, mascara, and lipstick because I don't feel like putting on a full face of makeup because it's just gonna melt because it's really hot today. But yeah, I'm now just gonna try and find a place to take this picture. I literally like don't know where to go to take it. I mean like I'm not gonna go out anywhere so I gotta find somewhere like either right outside the house or inside the house. But I don't know what I want to do. Like I want it to be like cool and artsy but I also don't have anyone to take a picture of me. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do it on self timer. This is gonna be a struggle. Hello. I'm attempting to take this picture and it's not working out too well. <laughs> Taking photos yourself is so hard. All right, so after a lot of struggle, I finally, finally took my picture and got one that I'm semi-satisfied with. <laughs> it took me so long and it was so hard, um, but I went through a lot of editing um, and made it kind of look like an old Hollywood film strip thing, I guess, to kind of go with the vibe and the aesthetic of Evelyn Hugo. But yeah, it turned out okay. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So yay, that's a success. <laughs> I also did just have lunch and I have made a bit more progress in Wicked Fox, but now I've got to go to the airport to uh, drop my grandmother off. And um, while I do that, I'm gonna listen to some more of the audiobook. So I'm just gonna take you guys along with me. 
So let's go. So yesterday I did a dog tour. Today I'm here to do a cat tour. Here we have Ugly. Yes, her name is actually Ugly. Do not ask me why my dad chose that name. He is an interesting person. <laughs> but Ugly is, unlike her name, very, very cute. Look at her. She's actually like nine years old or something, but she looks like a kitten because she's just kind of stunted. She really loves to chew on my fingers. This is like all she ever does when I pet her. She won't even let me pet her. She just wants to eat my fingers. And I don't know why, but she's precious and I love her. She's kind of a little bit of a demon. She hates being held, but she's adorable and I just want to squish her all the time. Ugly, you are so cute. I love you. Hello. No, come back. I love you. I love you, Ugly. Let me love you. Mm. And here we have Patchy. She is adorable. She's kind of afraid of like most things, but she's also super cuddly and just wants to be like hugged and pet all the time. She talks a lot and I think she's like hypoallergenic or something because her fur is like hair. It's not like fur. It's very interesting, but I love her. I hold her like all the time. Yeah. Oh, ow. Just let me love you, please. Okay. You're cute and pretty. Look, she has like white socks on her feet and her hands. She's adorable. Hello everyone, I am back home. So it's been like a couple hours, a few hours. I think we left around like 1.30, it's like 3.30 now. And I did do a little bit of reading. I listened to some of the audiobook in the car while we were driving there and back from the airport, but I didn't really get like that much time to read, you know? I just say bye to my grandma and stuff so but I did make some progress I think I have about six and a half hours of the audiobook left now and since I'm listening on double speed that's pretty much just like three hours left and I can easily finish that tonight my room right now is a little bit of a mess because I didn't make my bed this morning and I need to put my clothes away and stuff so I think I'm gonna do that for now while I listen to some more of the audiobook and update you guys with my thoughts on it. Actually, I should let you guys know what I'm thinking now. I haven't really talked too much about the book. I'm gonna put you down on the tripod because I don't wanna hold this up for the whole time. <laughs> All right, I'm sitting on the floor because it's just that type of day. <laughs> but my thoughts on Wicked Fox so far. So I'm about halfway through at this point, or at least close to halfway, because the audiobook is about 12 hours. At first, I feel like I thought it was just kind of confusing because I didn't understand like how they got from one place to another. It was just like the descriptions were kind of all over the place and then it got to a point where it started to make more sense um, but I was talking to Haley about this and she was saying that this book really reminds her of Twilight and so when I started reading it I didn't get that at first and then like as it went on a little bit I started seeing the resemblance as well and I definitely see the Twilight comparison to me this book is kind of a mix of Twilight and Daughter of Smoke and Bone but with Korean mythology and it's interesting I'm actually a huge fan of the parts where they talk about the mythology like I love those parts of of the book like there are chapters that are from like the characters perspectives and it's kind of just like explaining what's going on with the plot and them and then there are other chapters that give you like little bits and pieces of like the mythology behind like the nine-tailed fox and the mythology of this world and everything and I love those chapters those are really great like I like the little stories that we get about like how these people were created and stuff but the actual like plot is honestly like pretty slow and nothing has like really happened and I just find it like a little bit confusing again. I think it's just because there's kind of a lack of exposition, which is weird. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I have like kind of mixed feelings on it so far. I don't really have much of an attachment to any of the characters, which is a huge thing for me when it comes to books. Like I have to be attached to the characters to actually care about the plot. Like characters come first for me and I don't feel a strong attachment to the characters and I'm not very into the plot. So yeah, I'm having like kind of mixed feelings like I really like aspects of it and then there are other aspects that I just like do not really care for so I'm hoping that it improves as it goes on and I hope that like by the end like I will feel more of an investment for these characters and the romance and stuff but right now it's feeling 
pretty much like a mix of Twilight and Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which I know I did at one point in my life really love Twilight and I do really love Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which you would think would make me really like this story as well. But um, for now, it's just kind of like sitting at a very okay place for me. And I'm hoping that it improves as I continue reading. But yeah, like I said earlier, for now, I am just going to clean my room a little bit and listen to some more of the book. And then I'll update you guys once I've made some more progress and let you know how it's going, if my thoughts have changed at all. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a really chill afternoon and relax and enjoy the book, hopefully. And I think depending on how soon I finish it, I'm gonna try and start my next book or continue technically with When the Moon Was Ours by Anna Marie McLeanmore because I'm so excited to get to that one. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in a bit. All right, hello everybody. Um, so it's a bit later. I've basically just been kind of sitting, editing my vlog, listening to my audiobook. But now my family wanted to go out for dinner, so we are going to go out and get tacos, I think. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I go get dinner and then come back and hopefully finish up the rest of the audiobook. I think I have like four and a half hours left or so. So yeah, let's go to dinner and then continue reading. So I'll check in with you guys soon. I am back home again. As you saw from my couple short clips, we went out and got tacos for dinner, so that was good. Um, but now I am back home and I am just going to sit here and literally listen to my audiobook as I import like the remaining footage I have from this vlog and continue to edit the vlog, which is basically done. Like it's just like sound edits and like color correction that I really need to do. And then I think I'm gonna do some like self-care, like some skincare stuff tonight. I'll do a face mask and like exfoliate and stuff because I just like want to take care of my skin because like I'm breaking out here and there and it's like bugging me so so yeah I'm just gonna do some self-care stuff and relax and have a chill night it's been a pretty chill day all around but for some reason I'm just feeling like kind of unproductive which I know is not the case because I've like nearly finished a book and I took my Instagram picture so I did do things but just like because I have so much unstructured time it's kind of like hard to feel productive at times, but that's okay. It's fine. I don't have to be doing like absolutely everything every single day. It's okay to have like pretty lazy chill days. So yeah, for now I'm just gonna put on my audiobook and continue listening to that and I will check in with you guys probably when I'm close to the end of that and when I decide to do my face mask. So I'll see you soon. Hello everyone, we are back in my bathroom. <laughs> so I have made a lot of progress in Wicked Fox. I have an hour and 37 minutes of the audiobook remaining, which is around like an hour of the audiobook left, a little bit less than an hour since I'm listening on double speed, which means I will be done with it tonight, which is great. But it is already 10 o'clock and I really just wanna take off my eye makeup and wash my face. I'm just getting to a point where I'm getting very, very tired and I need to go to sleep early tonight. So I'm gonna do all of that and take care of my skin for a little bit, hence why we are in here so I can wash my face. I've actually had a lot of people ask me for my skincare routine and like, I don't have one. <laughs> my skin is naturally pretty decent, um, except for apparently this week where it's just decided to break out. But I am trying to get like more into skincare, especially since like I am in Denver right now and the weather here is so dry and so different than the weather that I'm used to in California. So my skin has like had to adapt to that and I have naturally dry skin to begin with. So it just makes it even more dry and unbearable. So I have been trying to get into skincare. My sister is super into skincare. So usually I just like ask her stuff. But I'll show you the things that I'm going to use today because I'm just gonna like wash my face and exfoliate and stuff. Um, but the face wash that I use, <laughs> I'm almost drunk. that. <laughs> the face wash that I use is just this Aveeno uh, Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. I've been using this since I was in high school, which is why I'm still using it because I just know it works for my skin. <laughs> I do want to like find something else that is probably better. 
um, but I don't even like know where to start. So yeah, for now, I just use this. And then the exfoliator that I use is literally my favorite thing on earth. My sister told me about this and it is this smart peeling white jewel pearl exfoliant from the face shop, which is a Korean beauty brand. And I really, really love this. It's so good. It's super gentle, but it gets like all the dry dead skin off of your face and it's wonderful. Like I look like I'm glowing every single time after I use it. I absolutely love it. And then the moisturizer that I usually use is just this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I'm also looking for like a good moisturizer to use. I like don't know what to use. I've tried out so many different ones, but today I'm not going to be using that because I'm going to do a sheet mask. I like these ones from the face shop. I really like this brand a lot. One, because these are just really nice sheet masks. They are soothing moisturizing like there's so many different ones you can get i really like the rice one which is brightening and the blueberry one which i think is moisturizing or firming i don't know the blueberry and the rice are my favorites that i've tried but also they're really cheap these are like two dollars which is great because i used to buy like ones from sephora and i think those were like five dollars or something these are a lot cheaper and a lot of the time they sell them in like bundles if you buy 10 you get five free or something like that which is awesome um so yeah i'm gonna use this tonight after I wash my face and exfoliate and stuff. So let's get into doing some skincare. <laughs> but yeah, like as you can tell, like I really don't have that many things or steps. Like I know that a lot of people use like toners and face oils and like all this stuff, which I want to get into. I just like don't even know where to start. But anyway, let's get into washing my face. My face mask is on. I cannot really talk like this. My face looks pretty terrifying. This is such a good look. I should just film videos like this all the time. <laughs> I can't laugh. Okay, oh my god, I need to stop. And I am back. As you can clearly tell, I finished my face mask. My skin feels really great now. I really, really just needed to do that, so I'm happy that I did. But I also finished reading Wicked Fox. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say other than I was just deeply bored. I ended up giving the book two out of five stars. It's probably around like a 2.5 for me because it's very much in between two and three for me. Um, a lot of people think that three stars is like a really bad rating. Uh, for me, it's not a bad rating. A three star book is a book that like I enjoyed and I thought it was good, but like it's not something that I would want to necessarily reread or anything like that. And two stars for me is usually something that I find boring or something that's just like not interesting to me. Not always something I had a problem with as in like I found it problematic or I had like a lot of serious issues with it. It's usually just something that just did not capture my attention for whatever reason. And that's kind of where this book falls for me. Like the concept of it was good. The plot though and the execution of the plot I thought was just deeply lacking and therefore the book was just extremely boring. Like I can't tell you a single memorable thing that happened. Like I said earlier, I had absolutely no investment in the characters. So I had no investment in the plot, which was already not super interesting for me to begin with. And the mythology aspect was genuinely very cool. And I wish there was like more of a focus on that because that was actually fun and interesting. Whereas like this insta love story was like not great. I think my biggest problem with this book is the fact that like stuff would just like happen and it wouldn't explain like how we got there. Like time would just pass and they'd be like, oh, it's three weeks later oh, it's one month later. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and you kind of just like have to accept it and like go along. And like, it's just, I just found it to be really choppy. And the pacing of the story was very off to me. Like everything just happened way too quickly. There was no like build up to anything. Things would just happen and you'd have to go along with it. So I think that's where like my biggest issue with the book was. So that's why for me, it's like a two, two and a half star. Yeah, not my favorite, which is really disappointing. But that means I am done for day two of the readathon and it is like 11 o'clock. So it's not super late, which means I can go to bed early enough today. <laughs> I'm not 100% positive what I want to read tomorrow. I definitely have to decide on my next audiobook. I think I'm gonna go with Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetti because I want to read something I like know I'll have a higher chance of really liking and since I know like I've already liked the other Ruta Sepetti's book I've read, I have a feeling that I'm gonna like Between Shades of Grey as well. So I feel like that's the safer choice. So I think I'm gonna pick that audiobook up probably tomorrow and then also continue on with like a physical book. 
I think I'm kind of like audiobook worn out right now. Like I've listened to too many recently and I just want to like read a physical book. So I think I'm gonna focus on When the Moon Was Ours mostly tomorrow and hopefully make some decent progress there. But that's something to worry about after I go to bed and get some rest. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for your support on yesterday's vlog. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Reading all of your comments today was just so wonderful and you're always so supportive and kind to me and it means the world, especially when I share things that are like super personal like that. Yeah, I love you all a lot. Thank you for being here with me um, and I hope you enjoy these vlogs. I'm having a really fun time doing it. So hopefully I'm able to keep my momentum up for the whole week. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all my links are in the description box as always. But I will see you all tomorrow for day three of the reading rush. I hope your reading has been going well. I hope you've been reading books you like. I hope you've just been able to read. And if you haven't, that's okay too. As long as you like read like a little bit throughout this week, then I consider that a success. Let me know in the comments down below how many books you've read so far this week. I'm very, very curious to know. But again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Bye.